If you own a van, RV, trailer, fifth wheel, or boat, and you're into solar energy, then this video is definitely for you. Today we'll be taking a close look at this flexible, thin film solar panel which is rated 200 watts, and we'll also be putting it to the test. This flexible solar panel is made by Bosch RV. It was sent to me by the company, but you can expect a fair and honest review. Let's get started. Looking at the solar panel, you can see it's easy to transport because it's highly flexible and you can roll it up to about 12 inches in diameter. This solar panel you see here is a CIGS solar panel, which is a cadmium, indium, gallium, selenide solar cell. And on top is a water resistant plastic coating, so this panel is fully waterproof. What I like about this panel is how flexible it is. You can contour to the roof of an RV, van, or even the deck of a boat. And it also has on the rear side these strips of adhesive. All you have to do is peel away the clear liner, position the panel and secure it to the surface that you want to have the panel on. The connectors for this panel are MC4. The panel weighs around 8.4 pounds or 3.83 kilograms. The CIGS solar cells have an efficiency around 17%. Maximum power voltage from this panel is 24 volts. Maximum power current, 8.52 amps. Short circuit current, 9.48 amps. Maximum system voltage, if you want to connect these in series, you could even connect these in parallel, is up to 1,000 volts. The panel you see here, which I'm going to open up in a minute to show you the full length, is 27 inches wide by 83 inches long, or 69 centimeters wide by 210 centimeters long. The adhesive strips do create a very small space between the bottom of the panel and the surface that you're bonding to, but you can still walk on this panel. The power output is stable, and you can also get this panel in a 100 watt or 200 watt version in different shapes. And here you can see the panel opened up about seven feet long. Good flexibility. Plastic connector right here that the two cables come out of with the positive and negative with the MC4. Now, if you're going to use this to charge a lithium iron phosphate battery or any other type of a 12 volt battery, you're going to want to take this connection and use a charge controller between the panel and the battery that's being charged. You can take this panel and connect it directly to a power station to have it charged. And that's what we're going to be testing in this video. First, let me take a look at the specifications. You can see them right over here. I'm going to measure the solar intensity. Then we're going to test the panel's ratings to see how close they are to the manufacturer's specifications. The Lux reading is 73.8K. 26.7 roughly, that's the open circuit voltage, keep in mind. It probably would be much closer to the 30.4 rating when you first take this out, unroll it, and then check the voltage. When it sits in the sun, just like any other solar cell, it's going to make the output voltage drop as it heats up. So let's take a look now at the short circuit current. If you don't have this inexpensive tester, I'll put a link in the video description area. It works very well. 9.87. Hopefully you can see that. 9.86. And that is actually above what it says in the manual right here. According to the manual, 9.48 short circuit current. So we came in a little bit lower due to the heating, but everything tests fine for the panel. Now let me take this and connect it up to my portable power station to see how well it charges. Okay, we're at 74,000 lux. The 200 watt panel is connected to my 1,000 watt portable power station that I tested in a previous video. You can see we're at 171, 172. It was 178 a couple of minutes ago. The reason why we're not peaking out around 200 with the panel, even though it's directed right at the sun, is because there is a little bit of haze there are some cirrus clouds way up high, just a thin, thin layer, and that's cutting the power output back. But I have no doubt at all that this panel would be able to put out 200 watts into that portable power station under the ideal conditions. So overall, a good panel. 
Of course, you can't tell how good it's going to be five or 10 years from now, but right now, based on the testing that I did, it does work well. And if you're looking for a flexible, lightweight panel, this one is a very good option you might want to look at. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to rate, thumbs up, and share. Thanks for watching.